Забили какая лучшая изображение. No, we have the best quality image, so I am turning HSC mode off. Copy HSC mode off. So again, this camera currently on board that progress as the International Space Station is coming fully into view, just over half a kilometer away now from its eventual docking to the pier's compartment. Final approach and docking mode. Okay. If you look at the bottom left quadrant, you can see that top number slowly counting down. Where it's a, again just over half a kilometer, so about 500 meters away from its eventual docking port. In just a few moments, the uh, progress will soon <coughs> begin its fly around of the International Space Station, firing a number of thrusters on board that will take it uh, into that fly around pattern and eventually line it up directly under that pier's docking cone before they take about five to six minutes for station keeping where controllers in uh, Koryov, Russia will make sure that everything is properly lined up before issuing the final command for approach for this Progress 47 docking to the International Space Station. So again, we're getting a view from the station's outboard cameras right now as it's currently crossing just over the northern coast of Tunisia and the Mediterranean Sea just now coming into view behind that Progress 47 spacecraft. Station's going to continue on this northeasterly track moving over Eastern Europe and then uh, over Russia and Kazakhstan being acquired by Russian ground tracking stations. And while this occurs, we are just under 20 minutes now from the planned docking of this automated spacecraft. Range rate, copy. We're in the fly around already. I believe you can see it. And the controllers in uh, MCC Moscow have confirmed that the fly around has begun with the solar rays angled at about 50 degrees. Again, this fly around will take the uh, progress craft into a position where it will be lined up directly with that pier's docking compartment. So while the Progress spacecraft continues with the fly around. The Russian mission control team has confirmed that the Toru system is in hot standby, ensuring that it is ready to serve as that backup system should any of the automated core systems on board the spacecraft fail. And at the controls of Toru, or the telerobotically operated rendezvous system, are Russian cosmonauts Anton Shkaplerov and Olog Kononenko standing by in these VESDA service module at these controls should they need to take manual control of the spacecraft uh, to bring it in on their own if that automated system should fail for any reason. But the core system continuing to function nominally, again going through this fly around, we're now under 300 kilometers away from the International Space Station and just a few minutes from beginning our station keeping activities. The top of your screen from this camera, you can see that Russian segment becoming, uh, starting to come into view. Immediately in the middle on the top portion, you can see some of the solar arrays that were used uh, when the first elements were launched, but have since been uh, decommissioned um, as they were no longer needed once the station was fully outfitted with its uh, four main solar arrays, which have been providing power to the station ever since. Also docked to one of these uh, Earth-facing sides, which you'll be able to see in just a few moments a little more clearly, is the Soyuz TMA-03M spacecraft, which carried NASA astronaut Don Pettit, European Space Agency astronaut Andrei Kuipers, and Russian cosmonaut Oleg Kononenko 
to the International Space Station and is docked to the uh, Earth-facing port of the Russian Zarya module. I confirm roll. Maneuver. Copy. Flight controllers con confirming that the um, Progress spacecraft is in uh, in its role maneuver right now. Again, finishing up this fly around and with that Piers docking compartment just now starting to come into view. Controllers here in Mission Control uh, confirming that station keeping has begun, that fly around finishing. This period of station keeping will take about five to six minutes while controllers in uh, Koryov, Russia, in the Russian Mission Control Center ensure that it is properly aligned with that Pierce docking compartment, which you can see coming into the center of our view now. Piers on the Earth facing or nadir side of the Zvezda service module. Is aligned with docking port 10 and minus zero decimal eight. Anton will be issued final approach signature. In other words, will be commanded by bias initial. After that, we'll activate operation and that format 44. How copy? Копио, ВПС Инишио, он. Принято. Четыре горят. Погасло. Фойл Адис, он, он. Операцион, он. Четыре горят. Фойл Адис, он. Включаю. Формат 44. Принято. Формат 44. Копио, активируем формат 44. Айсент. Принято. Включаем работу. Копио. Деактивируем операцион. So, controllers here in Mission Control confirming that the final approach has begun of this Progress spacecraft, bringing an end to station keeping. During this final approach, it will end up at a final rate of closure at about one-tenth of a meter per second. Once the Progress spacecraft is about 50 meters away from the station, the core's antenna will retract. And then the rest of the approach will be again automatically controlled by onboard computers. We don't have so now on final approach with this Piers docking compartment. Uh, so just a few minutes away now from the docking of this Progress 47 spacecraft to the International Space Station. Moscow Station, how do you read us on VHF-1? Loud and clear. Did you deactivate operation, Anton? I did not. I'll do that now. And that is off, and the LEDs are off as well. Copy. And the uh, closing rate is about 0 0.70. Okay, and uh, we're not uh, seeing the video right now. So please comment on everything you're watching. Well, we're seeing the target, and uh, it's in the center. 120 is range. 0 0.73 is range rate. Copy. Everything is nominal. So again, you're watching the onboard camera of this Progress 47 spacecraft as it is on final approach, just about to cross 100 meters. And uh, the target is in the Aveco Center. A retrograde burn by depot and work.
наблюдаю, кресты собраны, дались около 90. The range is about 90, and uh, I can see that the crosshairs are aligned. Copy. Range is 80. Range rate is about 0.36 and closing. And the crosshairs are aligned. The target is a little about one square up of the center. Copy. And uh, you can switch between AGC modes uh, once uh, you get in the, to the twilight. But of course, you will have to activate operation. The crosshairs are aligned. Uh, the uh, target is uh, one square to the right of the Kau Center. So while we continue to follow this Progress 47 spacecraft on its final approach, just under 60 meters now, so we should be getting the call for Coors antenna retraction any moment now. Station currently about one minute away from entering an orbital sunset, under 10 minutes now from eventual docking. Fifty range. Range rate is zero decimal twenty three. Everything is nominal. The uh, target is about within a degree of the center of Fuko. Range is about fifty. A retrograde depot burn and work. And uh, range rate is about zero decimal one eight. Copy. So crossing within 50 meters of that. 45, range rate is 0 decimal 17. Crosshairs are aligned. The target is uh, almost right in the center. Copy. Visiting vehicle officer here in Mission Control, Houston, confirming that the docking mechanism is the powered. Is, uh, Progress 47, uh, under 50 meters away down. from its docking the, at the other. Pierce compartment on the International Space Station. Crosshairs are aligned. 45. Artem, did you hear? Yeah, we just received messages. As well, but ready. Did, you, did you receive that information? Uh, no, but I got it now. Thank you, Alex. The visiting vehicle officer here in Mission Control, Houston, confirming that the Coors rendezvous system antenna has been retracted. Computers on board the Progress now taking over for the final stages of this approach. Approaching a uh, range of 30. Copy. Standing by for MCC GO to activate operation. We copy, but we're not GO yet. I understand. Standing by. Crosshairs are aligned, and uh, the target is uh, within the one degree of the center. Copy. Range is around 25. Copy. The target is uh, practically in the center and the crosshairs are aligned. Copy. Uh, 
Approaching 15 meter mark. We begin the progress in the final stages of this approach, just under five minutes now from docking, approaching its uh, final closure rate of one tenth of a meter per second. On VHF. Uh, we're getting interference. Should we switch to S band or should we remain on VHF? The range is about 10. The target is in the center and the crosshairs are aligned. Олег, we'll switch to S band in about a minute and a half. Okay, we'll we'll go and uh, we have you loud and clear. Orange is six. Antenna retracted. Messages received and Baza AR messages received. Copy. The crosshairs are aligned and the target is. Uh, a little to the left and to the bottom, uh, but within the one degree uh, range of the uh, center of Wico. Everything's nominal. Okay, and uh, you will feel a little vibration, so don't worry. Copy. The target is at the cent center. And now it's uh, going up and to the right. The range is about four. Copy. Again, just moments away now from the docking of this Progress 47 spacecraft to the pier's docking compartment, which is just above uh, our view field of view right now. You can see the crosshair lining the up there as they bring it in for this final approach. Center of Marco. The lighting is good. Crosshairs are aligned. Copy. A little bit of a roll. Copy. A little bit of a roll. Approaching three meters. Copy. And flight controllers now standing by for contact and capture the as this Progress spacecraft is just moments away from docking. One degree uh, of the center, and uh, the crosshairs are aligned. Three meters. Everything's nominal. Copy. And uh, a little bit of a roll still there. Two meters. Copy two. One meter. Copy meter. The target is at the center. Crosshair is aligned. Copy. Contact. Copy contact. Capture. Contact and capture confirmed at 9.39 a.m. Central Time. Anton, how is uh, the comm quality? Do you want to switch to Space to Ground 1? Yes, let's do that. The two spacecraft docked while flying just over northern China, just south of the Mongolian border, about 249 statute miles above the Earth's surface. Loud and clear, homie. Loud and clear. Working on page 24. Copy and congratulations on a successful automatic docking. Thank you, likewise. Congratulations to all of you as well. Thank you. So again, contact and capture confirmed. The docking probe retraction is now underway. That docking again occurred and confirmed at 9.39 a.m. Central Time. Uh, Tower deactivated. 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 Tower